having a successful time of it. Trainer on the far side. He's the man with James Hare and Dale Robinson as well. Well, I think he'd be happier with Kalik in the second round. Just started to get the, the jab working a little better. At ringside, stable mate. James Hare, one of the nicest guys in the business, and going great guns at the moment oh, at welterweight, but I do think they should put him in with one of the top guys in the world, or somewhere close to that now. I think it's worth the gamble with him. Second yeah, time, time for a, a move. Three. He's going well and looks the, the business. Here's round three. Kalik White Trunks. Tall, angular, good right hand, Nestorenko. Storenko was European champion, 1998 and 1999. He won it in Italy, defended it in France, lost it to Alessandro Duran in Italy, and then failed in a bit to regain it against Duran, stopped in the ninth round, and the scores were very, very close. That was on a cut. He was unlucky that night. So this is a guy who performs with... Honor and pride every time he gets in there, this Nestorenko. Kalik, it won't be a formality for him, Glenn. No, it won't be. I think this is a, a difficult test. And he's got to get past Nestorenko again. Used to travelling as well, Nestorenko. He has more success, Nestorenko, when he can keep Kalik on the back foot. Kalik's not as, not as good when he's going backwards. He likes to stand up right and... Try and get the right hand on coming forward. I wonder if this is going to be another long distance battle with late drama as we had last time. Good uppercut on the inside, well picked by Kali. But Nestorenko has an answer, refuses to be dominated. talk of matching Kalik with the former well, genuine world champion at the weight Vernon Forrest but Tommy Gilmore couldn't make that happen one of the reasons is at the moment Kalik wouldn't really mean too much in the United States well he's just got to keep winning that's what's important for Kalik can't really afford to fall off the rails in this one good attack cheer to the echo by his Nottingham fans Loosening up a bit to leak as it goes on. Mr. Renko overcomes the reach disadvantage to score well with his left jab. But not that time. Mr. Renko has to keep mixing the, the shots up. The long right hand to the body works well, and then try and bring that left hook to the head. Another good right hand and left hook too from Nestorenko. This fellow knows what he's doing in there. We saw that before, didn't we? Last time he was here. We did. And some good punches and probably got the better route for me in that round, Nestorenko. Well, I've given him two of the first three, Maxim Nestorenko. Close-ish kind of rounds. Here's a list of the uh, world welterweight champions. Ricardo Mayorga, the WBC and WBA champion, who's a colourful character, to put it mildly. He smokes cigars in the ring after his fights. Corey Spinks, who thinks he'd beat him easy, the IBF champion. And then you've got these uh, alphabet titles at the bottom, held by Kalik and James Hare. Frederick Closer is the European champion at the moment, and David Barnes has the British title after that controversial fight with Jimmy Vincent. By the way, you won't be seeing a rematch of that because uh, Vincent has been offered a WBU title fight instead. It so sounds all to me like a cynical, uh, horrible avoidance of the rematch by the Barnes camp, frankly, and it really shouldn't be happening. I think it's a disgrace. Yeah, I think it is. That, that fight should happen again, Vincent Barnes. It really should. The fans are the losers. And one can only conclude that the Barnes camp would think that they wouldn't win the rematch. They won't let him back in with Vincent. Seems to be the way of it to me. 
sure Frank Warren will have another explanation for us. I'll be interested to hear what it is. Kelly, good right hand. Getting some, some boxing going a bit. He's falling short of that jab and he's falling short of the right hand. He needs to step in, Kalik. Punches lack authority. Good technical work by Nestorenko, and for a moment there, Kalik just looking a bit bemused as Nestorenko gave him a few angles and fired in shots almost as he circled round. But don't underestimate Kalik and the, the way he does find a way to win. Well, it's a really picture perfect left uppercut there from Kalik. You can't pick nice shots out when he has a mind. It's a decent fight again between these two. Fancies the job, but Kalik scores well to the body. He's trying to up the work rate a little bit. Kalik needs to do this. Great support for Kalik. There was a big noise in Nottingham. The boxing public here have really cocked on to him and the two Booth brothers. And they've revitalised the scene in this part of the East Midlands. Better work for Kalik. He's got to keep the punches coming out. No single shots. He's got to try and get threes and fours in. Good jab. Just looking a little swollen around the face. Nestorenko. Right hand gets through as well from Kalik. It's good round this. The glance over to his corner there. Nestorenko. Heavy-handed, I fancy, Kalik. He's stopped 13 of his 21 victims today. Yeah, they liked it. Kalik probably good enough to take the round. There is a little bit of a cut by the left eye of Nestorenko. Now, having to work on that. As the computer, look, they've both thrown exactly 170, and, uh, well, Kalik's landed two more, that's uncanny. <laughs> Isn't it? That is unbelievable. It's almost like something from the Nevada State Athletic Commission, well, where all the boxers <laughs> weigh in exactly on the weight limit, amazingly. Well, I've got the, the fight level at the minute, I've got, I've got them all winning alternative rounds, so the fight is very, very close, and... Uh, Backs up the, the computer standing. Yep, I think it's level two. Good fight. Fifth round. White trunks of Jaweed Kali. He's making his sixth defense of this uh, IBO championship. We have 30 in all in a, in a good fight. Nicely picked the right hand from Nestorenko. Oh, and the left hook too. Really rocked back the head. Kalik under pressure. Well, that's where Kalik can get caught. He just carried the, the chin quite high, very tall and upright. Well, this is no soft, late substitute job, is it, for Kalik, a bloke who is the former European champion who gave him life and death last time in the ring. And has come in easily with a week to go inside the welterweight limit. He was obviously ready for something, Nestorenko. Yeah, he was obviously uh, preparing. I think he is a very good professional. No trying to get himself back into this round. Nestorenko dominating the opening half a minute of the round. Kalik's come back a bit.
Nestorenko fancies he's got an edge in boxing ability and speed. He's only got quicker hands than Kalik, who is prone to just telegraph the odd one. Also, Nestorenko avoiding the punches, just slips and bends the knees better than Kalik, who stands pretty tall. It's a sharp jab, very sharp jab from Kalik. Chris Kalik actually holds a win over Takalu, who's done quite well since those two met, really early in both of their careers. Looks a good win now, I knew. He's starting to pick it up in this round. After a good start from Nestorenko. He has his done some good work as the round's gone on here, Philippe. Particularly with the jab. Nestorenko looking to finish the round. Strongly pushing forward. Not a lot in this one, is there? No, I think Nestorengo just with some better work at the end of the round probably nick this one. To work on the cut there's the Nestorenko record it's a very respectable one 40 wins in 46 fights 26 inside the distance and one of those five defeats was of course to Kalik 19 months ago well there's Kalik early in the round getting caught with shots that he shouldn't really be getting caught with just standing up right right hand is chopping punch and then the, the following left hook he still is a bit too upright, isn't he, Kalik? Yeah, I think that that's one of his problems, you know, and that's his style. I think it would be very difficult to, to change that as we see the punches landed. Nastarenko now ahead in that department, but not by a lot. 